my name is Matt Smolensky. I was born and raised here in Grand Haven and surfing came into my life at a young age. My dad would take me down to the beach. We lived across the street from the beach here in town. Boards, my snowboards and pile of wetsuits. What up, I'm Adam. My friends call me Homie. Got into surfing about a year ago. Homie called me up and was like, yo dude, you gotta come out here. It's firing, I know you got a board. I grew up just naturally in the summers, always at the beach, and when there were waves, always on some kind of board, whether it was a boogie board or surfboard, and by the time I was eight, I was riding the bike down to the pier with a surfboard under my arms and jumping off the pier and catching waves. So I knew that people surfed in the lake. I didn't know how often it was, and I tried to get into it when I was younger, but I always just got crushed. I didn't know where to go, I didn't know when to go. I just show up on the days where I'm like, okay, it's like super windy, I'm gonna go find the biggest wave that I can find and just go paddle out with like a couple friends who also had no idea what they were doing. It's a nine foot long board. A really good friend of mine, Ryan Atticott, shaped this model. She's bad bitch. Good almost on any wave, up to like five or six feet. Kind of tough to paddle in the lakes with it when it gets that big, but man, is it fun. This thing will serve just about anything. I just got it a couple months ago. So my favorite part of surfing is different from snowboarding and wakeboarding board sports in general is instead of like gravity letting you come down a hill or being pulled by another force you have you have a force of nature pushing you on what usually is like a flat surface but for some there's like this force in the water that just it's a feeling you can't describe <laughs> In the last 10 years, a lot of these high schools around West Michigan have outdoor ed classes that they go to the beach and take them surfing during the school day. Um, they have one here in Grand Haven, and there's also classes now that are like shop classes where they're building longboard, skateboards, surfboards. So just naturally, it's like there's more people involved doing it now. So for me, the only place that I ever can like let go of anything going on in my life is when I'm in the water. So it's, for me, surfing is a place where I can go and any issues or problems I have in my life just disappear while I'm out there because you're just totally focused on catching waves. We threw around the idea of like, hey, let's go do this and see what people think of them. So we made 10 boards and my thought was if nobody bought them, I would have like 10 boards that I personally liked and I just had a bunch of surfboards now. So once we made them and people start like gaining interest in, in getting a board. Um, over the last couple of years, surprisingly a lot more like younger kids. Um, yeah, so the scene here is real interesting. I mean, if you go to the coast, it's typical like toe-headed blonde kids. You go to California, it's like all the same type of dudes, like skater dudes with long blonde hair that surf, that's who's out there. Um, it's, you know, same thing with the East Coast. It's it's surfers, it's the random guys, but here it's just like a, a total mixed breed. There's a ton of surfers that live up and down this street that we live on here. And like one of them's a school teacher, one of them grows and sells pot, one of them's a lawyer. Like, and everybody just kind of comes together on that same level. That's what I learned on, that's what I caught my first waves on, in the lake. This board is bad. You surf that almost anytime, anywhere. She's, she's a good unit. I bought this one for the ex-fiance. Turned out I love this thing a lot. It's got me. And like the challenge, another big challenge surfing in the lakes is the waves are normally pretty flat. They don't wall up like they do in the ocean as I've, so I've been told. So you gotta paddle really hard to get into the wave where you're, where you're dropping super late onto this like gnarly face that even at four feet doesn't seem so heavy but the water's not as buoyant as the ocean once you're under I mean, you're going for a ride 
Uh, so yeah, the small community probably helped me fit in a little bit more. And I knew a couple of the guys from growing up in Grand Haven. They, uh, I, with the mutual friends, you know, they started introducing me to the other people in, you know, the Rock Pile gang. And they're all similar age to me. And they, I just, they just like hanging out with me for whatever reason it be. And, and I was so determined when I started surfing, I'm like, I'm gonna get good at surfing. I have to get good at surfing. I want to be good at surfing. Pull this up. That's today. Looks like there's not much going on, even though there was. I love promoting lake surfing. Absolutely love it. It's because it's just not, people don't realize it's a real thing. And why should we, keep everyone else disconnected from something so sick, something that's so important and, and something so many people hold so close to their hearts. There's no reason that we can't share the Great Lakes with other surfers around the world, you know? There's a guy I met this summer from that moved to Grand Rapids from Brazil. He had no idea that they were surfing and he, found, he came to the beach one day and there were waves and the dude is amped up, bought surfboards here from, from Matt and was like, he loves it. And I got homies that I went, that I used to snowboard with out on the East Coast and they hit me up and they're like, dude, you've made it a dream of mine to come surf the Great Lakes. Like that is so badass. And it, it is badass, dude. It's, the, it's not like surfing in the ocean, that's for damn sure. I get to put my phone down and completely disconnect from reality. I get to disconnect from work. I get to disconnect from all the bullshit. And I just, I'm out in the water. With, if I'm with homies, hell yeah. If I'm solo, hell yeah. It doesn't matter. I'm out just having a good time, floating in the water. A lot of times the waves will go flat and I'll just, I'll just stay out there. I'll sit on my board and I'll watch the sunset. I'll look around and I'll just enjoy the peace. Yeah, there is because, that kind of like meditative aspect. Right. Life, life is too chaotic. Surfing is just the best escape from reality.